Hey guys, Matty B here from Diesel Geeks. Now, just in relation to the 1KD Forever crew, uh, Les Campbell asked me to produce a bit of a video on respect to the new Denso injectors that are coming out into the marketplace. Um, now, they're called Denso aftermarket, but basically, if you're not a Toyota dealer, these are now basically the only products that you can get. So, at this point, the 11 code and the 18 code are injectors are what uh, are upset in terms of the uh, 1KD injectors, but there's some others as well. Um, there's a couple of Triton injectors and things like that. So anyway, let's have a look at the box. I'll show you how they come. Um, you can have a look and see that it's a genuine Denso product. This box that I've got here is actually intended for the Japanese market. I think you can tell by the, the writing on the box. Um, but as you can see, they all have just a single piece of paper code and that code is the same for all eight that we've bought here today. And so I'm gonna run them through the test bench and then I'll share you, with you the results of all eight injectors so you can see the spread. So how interesting are those results? When we have a look, the peak fuels are like astonishingly close. Um, minimum was 125.5, maximum was 126.3. Um, so, so super consistent, which is amazing. I was not expecting this at all. To be honest, I was expecting to have to say, best idea to batch them or actually code them, but that's not really the case. Um, we see VE1 and VE2, the, the pilot sort of testing right down the bottom. There is a little bit of variation, but as we know, um, when we do 18 code injectors, you will need to do a pilot relearn on the engine. So actually the ECU is gonna correct for that. Um, I think those of us that are absolutely pedantic will probably want to have the injectors batched um, based uh, on that middle fuel. So that the one in the middle, I'm gonna highlight it here now in the, in the images, but that's pretty representative of like a cruise value. So it's like 800 bar and sort of medium, you know, 30, 40% load fuels. And so um, that is pretty representative. And so we can see minimum of 25 to maximum nearly 28. So there is a little bit of spread there that would normally be coded out that's not. Um, to be honest, you probably wouldn't need to code that. If you had batch sets with our all sort of 27 or all 25 or all 26, you'd, you'd not even notice. They'd be nice and balanced and the rest would just be taken care of. So some pretty interesting results, actually. I'm pretty interested to hear your thoughts and what you think of the whole process. But um, yeah, it's quite a departure from Denso's normal, um, not coding and, and not having one code for all, but I can tell you the flow rates of what they're actually putting out is very, very good. And I've just tested a whole bunch of 13 code and 11 code injectors and they are nowhere near as close as this. So anyway, interesting stuff.